Okay guys, so we're moving into my little work area, I guess you could say. This is where I do my tarot readings, my daily tarot spreads. Um, then I do my readings for YouTube. I set right here in this little section and I just get to it guys. So today I'm going to do three mid-month readings that I haven't finished yet uh, because I'm getting so many threats from my friends to finish them. So I'm going to go ahead and knock those out. Um, then I'm going to do a daily spread and then, yeah, we'll figure that out when I see where my energy is after that, guys. <laughs> so guys, I just finished up doing three mid-month readings for Virgo, Libra, and Leo. And oh my gosh, the energy was... The energy was just, I don't know, kind of brought me, I don't want to say it brought me down, but it took me to a different place other than the mood I woke up in. I woke up feeling pretty upbeat and those readings were kind of like, I don't know guys. With that being said, I'm cleaning up a little bit and I'm going to do a daily spread really quick for today, Saturday, April 13th, 2019, uh, just to kind of get a sense of what energies that I can personally expect for the day and see I had a I have a couple of cards that don't even belong so you know my cleanup game could use some work but yeah I do this every morning uh, I wake up and I post like a daily spread to my Twitter Twitter Instagram and Twitter Instagram and Snapchat how to think about everywhere I post them and um just to kind of let people know like what energies they can have with what energies they can have what energies they can expect throughout the day and um it kind of helps me too but uh, on top of that i spoil myself with a daily spread as well so go ahead and see what messages are in store for me today we have child and then i failed to get one of these out of there after I've went through it twice. So it must be a message for me, uh, Claire Sentience. Change in direction. Okay guys, I don't know what direction I'm going in. An entrepreneur, I swear I've had some kind of entrepreneur uh career transition message come out every day for like two months now usually when i see creative writing for myself i post some of my most clever content online i take that as the creative writing <laughs> usually post some of my most clever tweets or you know my most witty captions Something like that whenever I see that card for myself. So here's hoping. Got solitude and I got service. I want solitude, but now I'm being urged to have service on a day that I was trying to chill. Okay, and then I have relationship at the bottom of the deck. Hey. Hey, relationship. Okay, and then that's that, and then I go on to my next thing. So guys, getting dressed is usually like my very last step of getting ready. As you can see, I'm still in my sleep attire. My bed head is horrible. I had a high puff yesterday. Today, don't know what it is, but yeah, I usually wait until the very end to put clothes on. So guys, I was doing some work in my closet. And by work, I mean creating an even bigger mess than what was already going on in there. But I have concluded on what I'm going to wear to my friend's baby shower today. So these are the three dresses that I was deciding between. I'm super feminine. That's why I'm so excited. That's about to be summertime again. So that I can get back in my dresses, guys. And I am choosing this dress. I just had to make sure I had some safety pins because the cleavage on this one is serious. Um, I know it looks a little bit rough and wrinkled right now. Let me iron it out and you guys can see it on me. But I really love this dress. I love the pattern. 
And you know, I love a red lip. So I love any kind of outfit that complements that. Even it is super gloomy out. So I would not dare try to do anything super dynamic with my hair. I'm getting in the shower I'm like bun or revive the high puff or I'm let me see how I feel when I get out the shower guys so here I am in said dress I don't have any shoes on yet I'm probably just gonna wear some sandals because it's pretty nice out um, I am gonna put a jean jacket over it but you guys can see what I'm saying about the cleavage I already have two safety pins in here and if i don't then the cut is even lower so you guys can see why i took that precaution um but i'm gonna throw my sandals on put my jean jacket on and i'm gonna head out the door because i'm already extremely late so i picked up these beautiful flowers for my friend i didn't have a lot of time to get an actual gift but i think these are so you know just vibrant i think that she'll like them a lot and i think her theme is actually purple and pink so this will be cool so guys before i go i figured that i should tell you a little bit more about the persons whose baby shower i'm actually going to that might give you guys some context um but i'm going to my friend chase and his girlfriend shasta's baby shower now chase i have known since i was in middle school um it's like that moment when you're weird as fuck and then you meet somebody else that's weird as fuck and you're like, the universe might have just did something. Um, but you're too young to realize, but you just know that you're drawn to someone. Um, but it was me, him, and then our friend Isaac. We were just always kind of just into things that our peers weren't really into. Can't even just describe some of the, like we were just on a whole nother, wave like when our when our peers were over here like we were over here down here sometimes a little bit more over here like we were just always um on our own wave i don't know chase has always just been so down to earth so accepting he's always you know not really just not i don't know what it's just like such an easy going person um, just never really about that drama life. Like he's just always just done his own thing. And I always like couldn't help but fuck with that. Cause I, I've always like wanted a friend like that. That's probably one of the few people from my hometown that I actually keep in touch with. And I can honestly say that when my mom passed, that was one of the first people I heard from. So I'm so, so happy to be able to go to his baby shower and support him, even though he's so crazy. And I never thought that he would ever be having a child. He'll probably feel the same way about me when my time comes. Um, but for now, I'm so excited and I can't wait to see him in Shasta. And I know she's gonna look beautiful and I know it's gonna be an amazing shower and I know they're gonna be amazing parents. So let's get to it, guys. So leaving the shower, I'm definitely thinking about my own life. Like what's next for me? When am I gonna start a family? No rush or anything guys, but the baby shower in any event like that always makes me like reevaluate where I am in life. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm so happy for my friends, but I'm also wondering when my time will be not rushing it or anything guys. Um, but that that's just the kind of thoughts that come up for me when I go to those sort of things. And that's definitely what happened today. Um, but for now, probably gonna go in my house, grab some cucumbers and go to my dad's house so I'm not tempted to eat all his unhealthy food that I love so much. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and there will be many many more so don't think you're getting rid of me that fast much love guys